Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Listen, we have been playing darts here, trying to figure out what day Governor Inslee may sign House Bill 1240 now that it's passed out of the Washington State Legislature. We thought it might be last week. We thought it might be later this week. But now we know exactly what day it is. We know exactly what day it is. Well, because actually we took a look at what the governor's schedule is and we know exactly when it is on the schedule. And that is going to be tomorrow morning. Tuesday, April 25th. Today is Monday, April 24th. If you went out and secured yourself a assault weapon today or bought yourself a lower receiver, congratulations. You will be some of the last to be able to do so legally in the state of Washington until, of course, an injunction comes into effect. So today, let's spend a few minutes and talk about time has run out. Governor Inslee is signing Washington's assault weapon ban. Okay, before we get too far down the road, we're going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Security Gun Club. That's right, Washington's nicest indoor shooting facility is located right here in Woodenville, Washington. Now listen, we're not going to brag about the facility, which is awesome. We're not going to brag about the people who are terrific. And we're not going to brag about the training, which is the best in the business. But we are going to talk about a big event we got coming up this Friday, April 28th. That is our first ever Freedom Friday. We'll be going all day. Doors open at 11. We'll be going until 7 p.m. We'll have some educational classes in the evening. We'll have shooting competitions, we'll have giveaways, we'll have all sorts of ways for you to come in and drop money into the coffers to help the Silent Majority Foundation out with all of the lawsuits that we got coming from this bloodbath of a legislative session. So listen, if you can stop on by this Friday, April 28th, Freedom Friday at Security Gun Club located right here in Woodenville, Washington. Listen, if you can't make it by and you want to help the Silent Majority Foundation, check out the description box down below. We'll put links for you guys to make donations that way. For all other information related to our Freedom Friday event, visit my good friends at Security Gun Club. That is security with an E, securitygunclub.com. Okay, so the issue we're talking about is the signing of House Bill 1240. It will take place Tuesday, April 25th, tomorrow morning, uh, sometime around 10.30 a.m. There are three bills scheduled for signing tomorrow, and they are in no particular order. House Bill 1143 are, used to be pre-purchasing licensing requirement, now a pre-purchasing educational requirement. Senate Bill 5078, a whole new litany of liability for the FFL industry, and House Bill 1240. All three of those pieces of gun control legislation will be signed into law tomorrow by Governor Inslee into what will most assuredly be huge fanfare with lots of celebrity guests there. Now, we've already done this video right here to talk about the enactment dates on each of these pieces of legislation. The one we're talking about today is House Bill 1240 because it is becoming effective law tomorrow. This law will be effective the minute Governor Inslee signs it. What can we do about it? Well, I have a sneaking suspicion. I just have a sneaking suspicion that sometime around 1130 tomorrow morning, we might be getting news of a lawsuit that was filed in, oh, I don't know, let's say Grant County Superior Court. The name of the lawsuit, don't really know yet. Maybe I do, maybe I'm not telling you. But I do believe there will be at least one lawsuit as well as a motion for an emergency temporary injunction on that. I also know with great confidence that there will be lawsuits dropping in probably a couple other county courts as well as both the Western District and Eastern District of the United States District Court. So the fun is just beginning Washington. Uh, we may have lost this battle, but we have still yet to finish this war. And it is my good faith belief that we are in fact going to win this war. Let us also remember that we did this video right here, which means tomorrow may be a really, really big day because I have a sneaking suspicion that we may be getting a ruling out of Judge Benitez in the matter of Miller v. Bonta. Hmm, wouldn't that be just a gut punch to Jay Inslee if that ruling came out the same day he was signing his assault weapon ban into legislation? Now, the final legislation did pass on April 20th, and as we know, there was effort after effort after effort to try to remove the emergency enactment clause, but no, 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 no. All the Democrats said we absolutely positively needed that emergency enactment clause. It was about saving lives. It then took the governor five more days to get everyone together so he could get that law signed and actually start saving lives. We will be doing videos tomorrow afternoon after we've had a chance to talk to Pete Serrano with the Silent Majority Foundation and get filled in on what's happening in Grant County. We may even do a live interview from over there, so stay tuned for more details. 
But once again, House Bill 1240 is being signed into legislation tomorrow morning before the noon hour by Governor Inslee in Olympia to, I'm sure, what will be great fanfare lawsuits soon to follow. Listen, you may have more questions about this or anything else related to what's left of your Second Amendment rights. You guys should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now. If you don't, all of that information is in the description box down below. In the meantime, I want all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.